Well, I think the short answer is a lot more than you think and a lot more than most experts and forecast have factored in. And that's because there are a whole range of factors that are coming together and drivers that are coming together. There's policy, there's technology, economics, finance, and also what I call kind of market infrastructure. So if you look at policy, there are massive shifts towards energy efficiency in energy policy in Europe, but even elsewhere in the US, including in the US, despite what's going on in the US, if you look at city level and state level, there's big energy efficiency programs, so that's policy. If you look at technology, we see energy efficiency technologies like building retrofit technologies coming down in price through standardization and prefab. Uh, economics, energy efficiency is still the cheapest and always has been the cheapest source of energy services. It's just been more difficult to invest in. And then a really important factor is finance and there's this wall of capital that wants to invest in energy efficiency that didn't exist until a few years ago, but they see it as the best kind of climate mitigation strategy. And so when you have that much capital looking to invest, the practical problems of actually investing will be solved. Um, and then finally, I think there's these things like market infrastructure, as I call them. So one in particular that I'm involved in, the Investor Confidence Project, that's all about standardizing the way that energy efficiency projects are developed and documented, which makes them much easier to invest in and gives investors more confidence in them. And then also allows you to aggregate lots of small projects. So things like that will help the um, ease of investment. And then when you bring all those factors together and then you look back at history where there were kind of predictions of low energy futures, which at the time were completely trashed by the energy establishment and by government. And when you look at the numbers, they've come true. So surprisingly enough, we're living in what was a low energy future. And uh, we did that without trying. So if we've got all these factors happening and we're trying, then we should end up with a lot more efficiency and, and reduction of demand than we expect.